Julie Edel Hardenberg is a uh, Greenlandic uh, artist um, that has been working a lot with uh, redefining the cultural identity of Greenland and also redefining the cultural and national independence of Greenland from Denmark. And uh, I got to know Julia uh, because um, we had been shortlisted uh, as uh, one of uh, five uh, architecture companies from all of the Nordic countries to be invited to a competition to design uh, the National uh, Art Gallery of Greenland. Uh, the site for the gallery uh, is on something called Radio Fjell, uh, which is uh, um, uh, some, some rocks that go into uh, the, the fjord of Nuuk. And we came up with this idea to create the smallest possible architecture that cr could create uh, galleries and a sculptural courtyard. But rather than, so we, we drew a perfect circle. It gives the visitor a journey uh, through uh, uh, all the galleries from start to finish. Uh, but rather than ignoring the landscape, we uh, inherit the form from the landscape so while it looks like a perfect, perfect circle in plan, when you see it from the sides, it's melted. Uh, and it's really like following the contours of the dramatic topography of uh, Nuuk. Um, the result is also that this sort of melted ring, it's entirely enclosed from the outside. It's being washed by the waves uh, from the ground, but it actually creates this kind of diagonal horizon. So when you enter in, to the National uh, uh, Art Gallery, you get this framed view of the fjord. So you look out and you see the sculptural courtyard, the topography, you see sculptural artworks uh, of Greenlandic art, you see icebergs in the winter, you see the mountains, you see the fjords. So you basically see Greenlandic culture and Greenlandic nature, but all of the sort of Danish social housing all the evidence of the Danish uh, sort of rule uh, has been eliminated from view. So it becomes uh, an oasis of Greenlandicness in a city almost entirely built uh, by, by the Danish government. So almost like a, a little declaration of cultural independence uh, at the heart of the city. Uh, and of course, uh, once, uh, and we were so lucky that we won the, the competition, so the, the National Art Gallery is gonna be built. Uh, and once it is built, we want to sort of extend the collaboration with, uh, with Julia uh, and make sure that there will be some permanent art pieces as part of the architecture uh, designed uh, by and, and with uh, Julia. Uh, but more importantly, I would say uh, the artist collaboration in the case of the National Art Gallery of Greenland was really that I think our conversations uh, with Julia and with her group of, uh, of friends and artists uh, she completely informed the attitude uh, we ended up taking towards the architecture uh, uh, of the gallery, uh, rather than a specific sort of a, uh, artist collaboration within it. The entire architecture itself is really informed by her uh, sensibility and her sort of artistic uh, declaration of independence.